Hi, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So a recent study out of Denmark has shown that NR does not work in humans. Now, if you take NR before you start thinking about flushing it down the toilet, um, you need to be aware that it's a very, very specific tissue type that they believe this NR did not work in, and also the very narrow demographic of the participants who took part in the study. So without further ado, let's jump into the study and find out how NR did not work in humans in this study out of Denmark. A long-term clinical study from Denmark has shown that increased NAD levels and improved mitochondrial function results from NR supplementation in mice could not unfortunately be repeated in humans. And there are links to the study and articles I used to make this presentation in the description below. Let's look at the 12 week study on NR in humans. So studies in animals have shown that NAD boosters stimulate metabolic health by improving mitochondrial function in skeletal muscle. So far, NR supplementation has only been shown to raise human NAD in blood. Scientists from Denmark have published in the Journal of Physiology the results of a 12-week study where they tested the effects of NR on NAD levels and mitochondrial function in human skeletal muscle. Let's now discuss our metabolic health. Our metabolic health depends on our mitochondrial function. But as our NAD decreases with age, so unfortunately, does our mitochondrial function. Research has linked these declines with age-related diseases such as obesity, insulin resistance, and type 2 diabetes. This in turn results in the defective regulation of our skeletal muscle metabolism. Moving on, let's look at the details of the scientific study. The team of scientists studied NR supplementation to see if it did in fact increase NAD levels and improve mitochondrial function in human skeletal muscle too. The clinical trial consisted of 40 participants, uh, men with obesity and insulin resistance. They were given 1000 milligrams of NR or a placebo twice a day for 12 weeks. 2000 milligrams a day is a lot. The advised dose is around 300 milligrams a day. So what were the results? So the results showed that NR supplementation did not improve NAD levels in the participants skeletal muscle. The study also concluded that NR supplementation did not affect the level of mitochondria in skeletal muscle. The team also measured the levels of citrate synthase, an enzyme that correlates to mitochondrial levels, and unfortunately, they also found no changes here. The team also checked to see if NR supplementation increased reactions that use oxygen to convert nutrients into cellular energy. They found that NR supplementation did not increase the overall mitochondrial oxidative capacity in human skeletal muscle. So what did the study conclude? The team stated, our data does not support the hypothesis that dietary NR supplementation has a significant impact on skeletal muscle mitochondria in obese and insulin resistant men. They also stated, Future studies on the effect of NR on human skeletal muscle may include both sexes and potentially provide comparisons between younger and older people. So how has the NR community reacted to this latest study? Well, in my humble opinion, the NR community appears to be very quiet with regard to this latest study out of Denmark. Indeed, Charles Brenner, who is usually fairly vocal, especially in his tweets, when it comes to things such as the lack of human studies in NMN, or tends to criticize David Sinclair or anything linked to him, such as negative resveratrol studies, seems to have lost his ability to tweet with regard to this latest study. Again, I would be extremely interested to hear 
anyone's opinions in the comments section below. Let's now look at what the study doesn't tell us. This study is very specific. If you're a man with obesity and insulin resistance, it looks as though NR will not improve your mitochondrial function in skeletal muscle. In my humble opinion, anyone commenting on this study and not talking about the specifics of the study are either looking for clicks or they are just guessing. The study was conducted specifically in men with obesity and insulin resistance. So does NR work on skeletal muscle if you're a woman with obesity and insulin resistance? If you're a man or a woman and you are obese but not insulin resistant or vice versa? What if you are neither obese nor insulin resistant? There still seems to be more questions than answers and let's hope that in the future these types of studies are also conducted with NMN and that they test people with other age-related diseases, not just obesity and insulin resistance. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Uh, I'd like to hear from anyone with regard to this study, but specifically people who take NR as an NAD booster, especially if you are technically obese and insulin resistant. I would really like to hear your thoughts on this study out of Denmark. Uh, well, that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, as always, please take care uh, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.